presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on, gurus. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great Halloween, folks. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 126, NASDAQ up 59, SP's up 27. Gold, gold contract down $10.60, trading at 1995 an ounce. We have silver up 42 cents, $22.97 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 13, $81.18 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note down two ticks, trading 10605. The 30 year up four ticks at 10913 in King Dollar. King dollar is trading up 526 ticks, 106,646. The euro is at 105, the yen's trading at 151.57, and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a bounce going. And, you know, thus far, we get the price going but you don't have the juice behind it. So when we take a look at this, you're gonna see SPY's up 260, get 50 million shares traded right now. You know, yesterday we did 86, you know, so we're gonna do it's like 65 or something. So when we take a look at this, the first place that you wanna be basically looking at this is the 420 area. You know, you're at 418, 420's ice, that's where it came down to the swing point, broke the swing point, you know, had some juice on the break. Bottom line gets down to the low, now that low that was out there, the, you know, that, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good low. What I mean by a good low, it was coming into the low that was established out here this past May. You know, so if we even take a look at this, we put this on a weekly, what you're gonna see is, you know, I mean, it's a classic really, you know, that how it comes into this, this number. So we'll see how it shakes out. Now, when I do do this on a weekly, this gets kind of interesting. Let me see what that number is. That number is 458, and we did 487, yeah. See, that this gets interesting because when you put this on a weekly, you can see that's a high volume bar, man. And the bar that was going into, this is, this is actually saying that this thing can get down to this uh, 396. No, we've already been there, right? No, hold it. What is that? I see. No, yeah, no. 396 is the high of the low. Yeah, 396. So it'll be interesting to see what type of follow through we get. Now, what we do have is this, is that you have the Fed tomorrow. I believe we'll pull this up right now. I believe this is just a one day meeting, though. Calendar. November 1st. Yeah, it's a one day meeting. OK, so what you're going to have there is that they start in the morning. They're going to have a news conference. Or they're going to have a statement at, at 1,400 hours, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Time. And then at 2.30, they'll have the uh, question and answer. And that, that will move markets. You know, well, it may move markets. Let's put it that way. We've got to take a look at the queues. So the queues, they're, they're up $1.96. You get 38 million shares traded. Now, yesterday, we had uh, 55. Now, the queues can get 55. You know, that's kind of how the queues tra trade. That being said, the number you're going to want to watch in the queues 
is this uh, worth 351? Ah, oh, that's interesting, man. It's, it's right at it. This is right at it. So this is now. This is when you get, you know, when you're looking at the indices, folks. Okay, it's pretty cool that the cues are already there. The reason being is this: if we go higher tomorrow and we get through this swing point on the cues, your probability is that the spies are also going to go, meaning higher. You know, so the cues of the first ones are going to try to take it out. Now that being said, the cues have been much stronger than the S&P. You can see they didn't go down to the end of May. They only went up, up to the, well, they, 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 they went to May, but what ended up happening is that the cues were that much higher in May than the SPY. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. That's been a sideways move. More than likely, you're going to see movement on those also tomorrow. You know, right now, we've been going sideways for three, six, nine days, nine trading days. You know, you're still at these lows. If we take a look at the interest rate structure on the 10-year, the high is uh, 4.990, and we're at 4.880. We go into the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold still wants higher price. Gold wants that 21.29 level up at that swing point. You get uh, you know, a sideways move out here, down 10 bucks. You've been moving all around, actually. You get a low of eight, uh, 1987, you get a high of 2017. And what that's going to be all about is that if we go over to the dollar and you take a look at the dollar, that, you know, the dollar bottom line is down 519 ticks. Now, as one of our tigers said, Peter, is that this is about the yen, but it really doesn't matter what, kind of like, well, it matters what it's about. But you can see the yen, the yen got weaker in an extraordinary way. And this is all about the, you know, Japanese Central Bank and their yield curve, okay? And they just decided, hey, man, I'm going to make this thing weaker overnight. And if we pull this back, now what you're going to see when we pull it back is that the last high, though, that was established out here is 151.95. That was established uh, going all the way back in, um, what was that? What number? About November 2022. And we're approaching that number. So more than likely, we're going to ba basically hit that number. And we'll see how that shakes out once we get into that number. You know, because what you do have is that the euro is flat, the pound is flat. Now, it, what's intriguing is that the yen is the smallest weighting structure inside of the dollar. But when you get the yen that moves that high, that, that totally makes a difference. The amazing part is that gold's not down like 50 or $60. Because when you get a move like this in the yen, that gets that much weak, most times that gold goes. So that's telling me this gold market is stronger than, you know, we all understand at this particular point. Because this type of move in the yen, you know, normally would take 50, 100 bucks, man. I mean, that's, that's the reality. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is up a buck 20, NASDAQ's up 65, S&P's up 27. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors Bull Bear Ratios, and the Trend Panic Levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. 
Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, trading up 112. Get the Nasdaq up 59. S&Ps are up uh, six, uh, tw 26. And you talk about a hit, folks, okay? So your National Realtor Association, uh, plus Keller, Will no, plus Remax and uh, Berkshire Hathaway, actually. Uh, no, Keller Williams and Berkshire Hathaway. They uh, basically just lost a suit. Uh, check this out. About colluding with, um, to maintain high brokerage commissions, to the tune of $1.758 billion. You know, we'll see whether that uh, thing sticks, but uh, bottom line is that that's gonna be, uh, there's, there's a couple others that, that are out there that I suspect are gonna do the same thing because they have so many emails and texts uh, from these uh, companies that uh, they just, bottom line, are colluding, that that's the bottom line. We'll talk about it though. After we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, up as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side, the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? Basil has approximately 12 different archives out there. So once you sign up, you get all the archives. You understand how the Chapman Wave moves through these markets each and every trading day. Check it out right in the front page of TFNN. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Very interesting because this week's got a lot of challenges up and down. And we'll have the next one coming up tomorrow with the Fed. Yes. And we've got advanced micro devices coming out this afternoon. So uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Cool. So from from the, the Dow high of, eight, of the 1st of August at 35,679, Using now on one of our techniques is using on balance volume. We went short that day. We remain short. We've had trading uh, trading positions uh, three times long, three times short, just small positions trying to ra uh, use the Chapman Wave methodology. What I was looking for was, and what I've said during my show on on Thursday, going into Friday, that if Friday was very weak. And Sunday night, the futures were very weak. And we came in with the, all the news uh, channels talking about how bad the market is. 
and the market dropped very sharply on Monday. It was yesterday. Then we could get that V-shaped turnaround, and that would be very important. I didn't see how it could happen because um, there are some areas that look to me like they need a little more time before we make any kind of a major low. So I said we could have a low, but not the low. So instead, what happened, the futures were pretty not, not bad on, on Sunday night. And then early in uh, Monday morning, the futures were up and we had that big move to the upside. So this follow through is kind of kind of to be expected. So what, what I did for subscribers is we added one of the Magnificent Seven that I, we have liked for a long time. We've been waiting to put money aside that we can start to look at some of these positions that have held and show some kind of tenacity and they'll be able to hold. They will still keep a fairly short stop on the position. So we've started to look at long positions in what already have been core market participants. Now, here's the other thing. The, you, the volatility index, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, the volatility, VIX, I just, <laughs> I've been typing in so many numbers today, I forgot the symbol. So the volatility index, I had said, should scream into the high 20s, the low 30s, and that would give us the signal. And look, the volatility went to 23.08 uh, about eight sessions ago, and it's down again. So that's not really working the way it usually does. Uh, even here at 18, um, the market actually should be much weaker. So the, all those I mentioned in my show earlier today, and the target conditions are that all those icons, all those things that used to work with dollar up, uh, yields coming down helped the market. Oil, um, if the dollar was up, then oil would pull back. None of those are really working the way they used to. Even when gold was uh, up and the dollar down, uh, that was the normal thing. But now you've got something very different. So all those historical uh, icons that I used to look at have different meanings. So it, within that context, one of the things that has not changed for me is that the SMHs, the semiconductors, even now, they're up a dollar. They are really struggling. I mean, look at this chart. Look at that cup formation, 159 back in November 2021, plunges down to 83.49. Uh, that was uh, that was in, I think it was March of uh, 2022. Rallies up to 161.17, all-time high, and then comes back down. So you've got this beautiful symmetry between the cup formation and the plumb line in the middle that I used as a, a price time match, it goes to new, just barely makes a new recovery high, then pulls back. So uh, using the same technique that I used for the Dow on the uh, 2nd of August, we went short the semiconductors via the SMH. Uh, 161.17 was the all-time high. Uh, we're short from just over 159. But look at the symmetry. Look at this, the way the, the price moved down. You see this daily chart, and then it yes. moves up. And then that exact measurement of the blue line to the downside, the same angle, I love this, this uses the Chapman Wave inside wedge and the arch formation to get to the same symmetry from the inside track repellent zone to the support line. And it holds right at this uh, little dash, this little, uh, sorry, narrow inside track uh, propellant zone. And then it runs up and it goes to the resistance. In a, the green line matches almost to the penny, and now the blue line is coming down, and we've almost matched to the penny today's low. So these, the symmetry of this says to me that, yes, you might get a little bit of a bounce in the SMHs, but that's telling me that this market isn't yet quite ready to have the big move to the upside. So I consider that important. We are still holding that UEC I had mentioned to you quite a few weeks ago, Uranium Energy Corporation. Um, and we we in at about 364. It's trading now at 592. It's about I talked about this inside track repellent zone. See, it's just bumping up against it here. So um, the things that have been working seem to continue working, and and what is starting to struggle, um, wait, well, what has been struggling continues. So we're going to be watching, for instance, the TLTs trying desperately to the the bonds are desperately trying to form a some kind of a base to balance. Haven't done it yet. Basil, what, what, is, what is the overall feeling that you get out of Metro Boston as to, you know, what's happening in the economy? So in the economy, the people that I speak to, um, 
I'll, people just say, wow, whenever we talk about prices of anything, people just shake their head and they say, prices are out of sight. And the big thing is, especially people in my age group who you know, have kids who have moved out, and now they've, they're free to do anything they want, uh, the, the, the parents, and what are you going to sell your lovely house and move to a two-bedroom or something that you're going to pay but the they same can get price But they can get 5%, which they've never been getting 5%. And, for well, that's the other thing. Not This is only the first time that they've started talking about the 5%. So that is important. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Interesting. Yeah. So, it, it, it's, it, so, it's so intriguing because the, there's no doubt the high prices for all of us is a big deal. And then when you look at the growth factor in the economy, it's 5%. I say, okay, where is it? I don't, you know, it's, it's really intriguing, right, in general. It, yeah, yeah, it's the juggling trick, yeah. Listen, folks, get over to our website at TFNN. Check out the opening call. Baz, love a great one and safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You Thank too. you. Bye -bye. Driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 116. We get the NASDAQ up 52. S&Ps are up 25. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. And then our man, Mr. Tim Ord, he is going to be doing a great workshop for us. And this is going to be a week from today. Okay, if you come out to the front page of TFNN. You're going to see it right on the front page. We're going to be talking about the six secret ratios that every trader should know. And we're going to be uh, going through these ratios. We got the TLT with the VIX. You get the SPY with the VIX. We got the SPY 
uh, on the daily, on the weekly, and then you get the bull bear ratio, and then, of course, the panic levels. Uh, so this workshop, folks, is starting at 4 o'clock a week from today. It goes from 4 to 5.30. The workshop is only $149, and you're going to learn things that basically, you know, I can tell you, not a lot of people in the marketplace have. That's the, that's the real bottom line. And if you want to basically bring up your probability of having successful trades, bring your risks down, and basically stay out of the market in, in a good amount of time because those things have to pull together, well, this is a workshop that you very well want to attend. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? All right. We sent some, uh, sent some charts over. Actually, uh, um well, we'll start with chart one, I guess, um, which is the, uh, well, the top window is the uh, SPY VIX ratio, which we're going to go over at the uh, webinar. But we did get long Friday, and the reason why we did get long Friday was because, uh, because of this chart. Okay. And um, actually, we were talking back in the, uh, I think, April-May period, uh, the, the, the bigger blue area on that chart. Uh, I got it, you know, it's a light blue area. I uh, want to talk a little bit about that. Everybody was kind of bearish around that uh, April, um, April, May period. And the reason why I was bullish because of this chart. And if you notice the, uh, uh, the SPY, which is basically, uh, well, be the third window up from the bottom. Yes. It was just going sideways there. It didn't really, you know, everybody think, well, that's testing previous high. It's going to be bearish. It's going to go back down. If the next window higher above that is a VIX. And uh, the VIX, you know, the market's going sideways and the VIX was going down. So if it was going up, that would have been a bearish sign. But if it's going down and the market's going sideways, that means the SP is going to go up. Because when the VIX goes up, the market goes down. Right. If the VIX goes down, the market goes up. And so the SPX VIX ratio shows that relationship, So, uh, which is the top window. But that kind of breaks it down how I, I stayed bullish through that time frame. Nice. Then ba uh, and it, it worked out. It had a decent rally. Oh, it definitely then, worked out, man. You're going long Friday. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Friday we're long again, and as a little bit smaller season, a little bit smaller deal. If if you go way to the right, you know it's a kind of blown up window there, and you can see what what happened. You can see the SPs going down into Friday, and the next window higher is the VIX. Well, actually, is making uh, while the SPs was making lower lows, the VIX was making uh, uh, lower highs. And so, which is uh, the top one, was the VIX went sideways. So the VIX was actually going bullish, you know, uh, uh, in other words, making, going down yes. while the S&Ps was going down. And you get those two indices going the same direction, you're going to have a reversal. And that's exactly what happened. That is so uh, cool. So, yeah, let, let me put this. I'm going to put this. Uh, there's a big VIX chart I just put up here, too, folks. You can see what Tim's talking about. Yeah, that's that's intriguing, man. It really is. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, as long as that VIX keeps going down, so instead of watching advanced clients and all this other stuff, you know, it still make life too complicated. Which, you know, it's it's if as long as if you know, if you know today's VIX is down quite a bit, and it is, it's down uh, to all seventy five, yeah. right? Yeah, right. And and the S P's is up. That's exactly what's supposed to happen, right? And uh, and as long as that keeps going that way. You know, you hold on to this uh, this trade, so I don't see right. any worrisome sign right now. Hey, let um, me let me ask you this, Tim. You know, we, I can I can see there's no doubt. You know, the you know you nailed this nice coming. You know, rejecting lower price the whole ball of wax. What do you think? That, so let me ask you this: the, you know, we're coming off this. It looks like the volume is dropping off pretty dramatically. I mean, we have the Fed tomorrow, so maybe the volume will pick back up. But where's your head on, like volumes these days? After you, after you, let's say you, you, let's say this is an intermediate bottom, and right, that, you got an extra question. That's an excellent question. Actually, back in the day, you know, I thought, okay, you have a selling climax and you go into a buying climax, and everybody related that to the volume. Yeah, and 
Markets can go up on light volume because there's no sellers left. Oh, I know that. that. Was big, <laughs> that, that was a, a big, I know that's uh, being shot. <laughs> well, I made in the past. Yeah. Well, let's fl- let's flip. Instead of looking at volume, flip to chart four. Okay. And chart four, what's important here, volume's important, but it's not as important as advanced decline. Okay. And so uh, even though volume's light on going up here, uh, the chart number four is is, is the uh, Zwag breast thrust indicator. Okay, that's, that, that's hard to say. Yeah, but anyhow, to get a bottom, you got to have a selling or a capitulation. Then you got to have a sign of strength. And everybody referred uh, as a sign of strength always in volume. Well, volume can produce a sign of strength, but also the advanced decline can do a sign of strength. So you can have either or or both. Okay. Uh, so, so right now we don't have a sign of strength and volume. That's a good feedback. But, and and let me let me ask you on the, the Zwag, you know, um, method. Breath thrust, so yeah. yeah. So do we start counting again? Meaning, because we, right. well, we, well, we don't have a sign of strength yet. But let, let's picture tomorrow we have the Fed come in and the market likes it. And then we get a sign of strength, and then then we start counting. What is it? Ten days again, or is it a week? No, you start counting when this, uh, which is the bottom window. Uh, first, you got to have a capitulation on the Zwag breast thrust indicator to get capitulation. Is a reading below 0. 0.4. Oh, I got it. Okay. So, okay. okay. So, and last Friday, I think we had 0. 0.38. Uh, uh-huh. Then we okay. closed above it Monday. Now, yeah. to get a Bragg thrust indicator, so now there's a sign of strength. You need this indicator to go from 0.4 to 0.6 in 10 days. I got so it. 10 days is uh, cool. A, a week from, or two weeks from last Friday. Yes. So that's when you start counting. And yesterday we had a, a 0.43 on it. Now we got, it looks like about 0.48 okay. or so. So we got another week or so to get a, 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 a Zwag breast thrust indicator. You can do it on this indicator, get a sign of strength. You can also do it on the summation index, and actually you can even do it on the uh, McCollin oscillator. So there's different indicators you can use, but the advanced decline indicator is a better sign of strength indicator than volume is. And that's, that's great my, to know. my point. If you get volume with it, that doesn't that adds to the bullish case, uh, but you don't have to have it. Okay. So. Just stay right there, folks. Stay right there, Tim. And listen, folks, in between this break, get over to our website. If you want to understand these ratios, folks, and understand how Tim looks at the market and understand probability, risk, ratio, reward in the marketplace, come over to our website at TFNN. A week from today, it's going to be an awesome workshop. It's only $149, going from 4 to 5.30. Tim and I are coming right back. Stay right there, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oid, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. And we had a question, uh, and what the question specifically is, is that uh, uh, Tim's uh, ratios for the uh, webinar easily recreated in any type of system, such as Think or Swim, are they proprietary ratios? They're, they're, they are proprietary ratios, folks, but, but the bottom line, he's going to give them to you so you can recreate them in two seconds. Yes, that, that, I mean, that's what the webinar is all about. If you want to really understand, sure. you know, how he looks at the market, um, yeah, you know, bottom line is that you're going you're gonna to have the formulas and it's more than just the formulas, folks, because what ends up happening is that you know that there has to be an answer and question period so you can really understand, you know, what you're looking for on a continual basis. So, yes, you're going to have the formulas. That's the bottom line. And they are easily right. created, yeah, which is pretty cool. So, um, okay, right. so where were as, we as here? Let's go, as, as for fun, let's go to chart two. Okay. I, I always had, you know, you, know, you can't catch a, a falling knife. They call these falling knife markets and stuff. Right. You, I don't know. That's that's the term that people shot at me. I said, oh, you, what are you trying to do, catch a falling knife? Well, here's an indicator that the falling knife is when the market just opens up and just goes right through the floor. Yes. So everybody scatters and they head for the exit. And what the, what they're missing here is a great opportunity. But you got to have an indicator to, uh, to catch a falling knife, you can't like, okay, that's close enough, I'm going to go in. Right. And, you know, you, you get slapped inside of the head or something. Well, this indicator, uh, well, well, so you, you know when a falling knife market is going on. And so, anyhow, the, uh, the, the second window down from the top is a BBIX, which is a VIX of the VIX. Okay. And it, and it really kind of accelerates and declines pretty good. And so... I put an indicator to which is the bottom window, uh, which is a, a ROC, which is rate of change on a uh, three-period uh, method. So every time this uh, rate of change on the BBIX is above 25, you're looking at at least a short-term bottom. I see. And all those red lines across there are when the ROC, three-period ROC of the VBIX, uh, was triggered. And so, you know, this last decline, we didn't get it, but it doesn't t catch every uh, signal, you know, like in that blue area coming off the top. Yes. There was really no panic. There was no acceleration of the VIX to the upside. So that's the reason why I think the market declined so much, uh, because there was no fear. Right. You know, the VIX is kind of, a, the VBIX is kind of another fear gauge of the VIX. So, but all these, uh, you know, short term, you know, the, if you're an option trader, this indicator is good to know. Big because time. You're going in, um, knowing that you got panic in the VIX going straight up, and panic always comes up bottoms. So you got no panic, you got no bottom, and so you know. So ideally, you, you got to know where panic forms and how to deal with it. So this indicator, you know, last time we got panic was uh, at the uh, May uh, 2023 low. Because the ROC got up to around over 40, you only need above 25, and that pretty much marked the bottom. The market went straight up. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, 
And uh, another indicator that kind of helps, I usually kind of at least put two indicators to a uh, on to a, uh, another RSI, which is a top window. It's kind of just another aid of uh, any one of the RSI of the VBX gets above 70 or so. Okay. It kind of reinforces uh, the ROC of three. Right. But, uh, uh, you know, but these, these are excellent for option traders because options, you know, once you get a sign of weakness or, you know, you got to have, you know, right after you get a sign of strength. So if you don't get a sign of weakness, you really don't get a sign of strength. So in other words, if you're, dull, if you're trading the dull market, you, your, your premiums on your options are going to go through the floor. So I know. It's, it's, I know. You're, you're just going nowhere. So you want to uh, buy options in volatility. It, and this is a way to define volatility. If you look at all those trades, you know, you went through the floor, immediately you, 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 you jacked right out of it straight up. And what Tim's uh, saying, so, so picture this, folks. I'm going to put this up here for a second so you can see how this works. So if you're in the option market, you know, bottom line, you, you, you do understand how this works. But I just want to explain it just for a few minutes for, so folks can really understand this. So when Tim went long on Friday, so what happens is this, folks, okay? So when the market's going down, just as Tim said, right, the bottom line is that, you know, the call option premium is basically going through the floor <laughs> because people are buying puts. That's that's just how it goes, you know? So the, the, the correlation that if you can get close to, you know, highs or lows, and it doesn't have to get close. You don't have to nail them. The bottom line is that inside the option market, you can make it up for the premium in two seconds flat because as soon as the market starts going higher again, the option premium inside of the whatever you're trading, in this case the SPY, bottom line gets fed in immediately. That's just how it goes. You know, so, you know, we, and, and what happens inside the option market, you know, you're, you're only talking, you know, sometimes whether it's 10 or 20 cents, but that 10 or 20 cents is a huge amount of percentage. Um, and then you wake up in the morning and, you know, the bottom line is that they get, they put premium back into them. So pretty cool, man, yeah. Right. Well, so, you know, for instance, that period uh, we talked about, um, you know, we had that uh, uh, the May or no, the be, 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 be the March uh, 2023 low. Yes. When we got a circle in there, went to 40. So the market rallied up, and you know, right after that, that May sideways move. Yes. See, you should you never want to get in a sideways move and buy calls or puts. Because all you're going to do is just waste your premium. That's right. The so market's going sideways. So what this chart does, it picks out all the high volatility periods and gets you in close to a, a significant low where your odds of winning increase significantly because you're not going into a sideways market. You're going into a volatile market that's, you know, slamming down. And so, you know, it's like a ball. You throw a ball hard, hardly, you know, hard yep. down. It's going to bounce. And so you're, what you're doing is you're going into a, a situation where the, 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 the market ball, I guess you might say, is yes. slammed against the cement floor, and it's going to rebound up. Right. And that's where you're going to make your money at. So your odds increase significantly. So no. uh, that's my point up there. Yeah, I know. That, it, it's so. a great point, too, Tim. You know, it's a huge point. And, you know, if you don't trade options, folks, it's still a great deal, okay? But, you know, when, when you have an option player, it gets even more intense because you don't have to, you know, go for, you know, bottom big dollars inside the option market when you're, you know, trading right now because it's penny wide inside the option market and you can trade them every single day, which is pretty amazing. It, 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 you know, the one-day options have changed everything inside the marketplace, man. I mean, it's like, you know, yeah. you, what do you want? One well, day, this, two this, days, three days? I know these, you know, those uh, one-day things, you know. This would be a, a, a great indicator. You can call me when when you think something, then I could, you know, we, we could talk about it. No, no, for but, sure. I mean, do you remember, Tim, in the 90s, we used to have to wait for white lightning? You know, I mean, white lightning, folks, would only be once a month, man. we have to wait all month, you know, for the last week. And, you yeah. know, the bottom line is that, you know, it's totally different now. Stay right there. Tim and I are going to be coming right back. And come over to our website, folks. You can sign up for this web webinar right now. It's next Tuesday. You're going to love it. That's the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is up 97, Nasdaq's up 47, SP's up 23. And uh, don't forget, folks, I met Mr. Tim Ord, who I'm speaking with right now. Next Tuesday, he's going to be doing this workshop. It's from 4 to 5.30. It's only $149. You have all those ratios, and you will have the formulas for the ratios. That's what this is all about, folks. You not only have the formula for the ratios, bottom line, Tim will walk you through it and answer all the questions that you have. Uh, this is a fast hour, Tim, man. It's blowing my mind, actually. So what chart would you like uh, to look been, at next? Let's just go to three. Okay. Uh, just real quick. This is this is a weekly uh, SPY, and the bottom window is SPY VIX, uh, the VIX ratio. Okay. And th um, there's a couple different things on this chart. I put the Bollinger Band on the weekly SPY, and every time the Bollinger or the SPY closes below the lower Bollinger band, you usually add a bottom, and, and we did that on on Friday. Yes. And also, when it closes above the upper Bollinger band, you're at least going to go sideways here. But that was I was watching that on on the close on Friday. Okay. What really got me along was the bottom window. The market was down hard, and the SPY VIX ratio was actually sideways. It didn't. It didn't go down. Like Interesting. It went sideways. Wow. That's some divergence. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, no, that's some divergence, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's divergence. Yeah. You, you know, if, if the market goes down, VIX supposed to go up. But, but this ratio. The only reason why I did the uh, SPY VIX ratio because it, you know, uh, if you do it the other way, 
Well, anyhow, because um, the VIX goes up when the market goes down. Sure. And so what that was saying, uh, the market was going down, and the, the VIX was going down with it. That's the reason why that ratio went sideways. So you got a divergence, and that blue area is in uh, – I've done it in the past. Uh, you can see what happened in the past. They all picked out lows. And then you had uh, the Bollinger so, Band at the lower end. So that was your second right. one. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Right. And that's why you got me along. So. I like it. Right. I like it. Okay, folks, uh, you know, uh, Tim, thank you so much. You have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to speaking to you on Thursday. And, folks, uh, you know, bottom line, you have a great night, a safe night. This was a fast hour, man. And uh, don't forget, we got uh, Tim right on the front page. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.